Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Is this your bar? This is my bar. I have a side line, but I am mostly pulled down this seat right here. Thanks for joining me today, Michael Dubin. Thank you for having me. CEO and founder of Dollar Shave Club, one of the fastest growing private companies in America right now. You can't have a conversation with Michael Dubin without talking about your insanely viral YouTube video that you created. What most people don't know is that you were very involved in the stand-up community. Here improv, in New York actually. Sorry. Improv and sketch. What did you take away from your time in improv that you have brought to Dollar Shave Club? Not just from the video, but the things that you learn about yourself, about interacting with people that you get in an improv environment. From a comedic sense, understanding what's funny or, or why the audience laughs is something that you learn through the process of, of, of improv. I was, I think, able to take some of those lessons and apply them to, to the business world. Sometimes when you're in meetings with 20 people and decisions have to get made, uh, it, it really helps to, to be schooled in a discipline of quick thinking, and that's what improv, improv really is. So it's really great brain training, uh, and every yeah. day is an improv. Especially in a startup environment. Up until Dollar Shave Club. You know, I had always worked at smaller business units, even when I worked at large corporations. I always did that because you get a, more of an opportunity to, you know, grab territory for yourself when you're working for smaller businesses. And so if you go into a role where you are uh, pigeonholed and, and you have a very, you know, specific job description, that will limit your ability to figure things out as, as you go. So I felt very fortunate uh, because that is how my career had gone. Then you start your own company and now you're doing literally everything and trying to figure it out. And there's so much that you have to learn on the fly. You know, I mean, everybody did everything back then. And ultimately you have to be really honest with yourself about what you're really good at and what you're not really good at and go out and find, find people to surround yourself with. As a founder, you're playing all positions. Mm -hmm. At some point, the, the growth gets to the point where you can't operate that way anymore. I'm wondering if you've hit that inflection point yet and what the transition from point A to point B has been like for you. I think one of the coolest parts about where we are now is that 